The reign of terror in my Northridge neighborhood began with manic dog barking, eerie coyote howls and the high-pitched screams of an animal fighting for its life in the middle of the night. I hoped it was coming from the nearby canyon, which teems with wildlife. But early the next morning, as I was walking my dog, I came across the unmistakable sight of animal remains on the sidewalk near my house. I hightailed it home and busied myself trying to not think about what that might portend. But the next morning, when I looked out my kitchen window, I saw a coyote standing in my driveway, looking around expectantly for another meal. I ran out in pajamas, screaming and waving my arms so I would look large. I grabbed my water hose and blasted him with a jet stream, which had always worked in the past. But this coyote did not budge, he just stood there staring back at me. Even when my neighbor came out, clanging his metal baseball bat, the coyote seemed undaunted. When another one emerged from a nearby yard, the two of them casually sauntered off, glancing back at us nonchalantly as we followed them down the block. Over the four weeks since then, hardly a day has gone by when I didn't see a coyote, scaling a fence to scour backyards, trotting down the street with a cat in its mouth, or eyeballing us when I'm in my front yard with the dogs. I used to roll my eyes at the precautions some neighbors took when random sightings of coyotes occurred. They built enclosures for their pets, clothed their dogs in spiky vests and spit lavishly to fortify their yards. Now I'm the one searching the internet for directions on how to build a pen, so the coyote I've spotted walking along my brick wall doesn't make a meal of my pets. They are not afraid of the puny weapons humans bring to the battlefield, our rare horns and golf clubs and tin cans rattling with coins. These coyotes are roving the streets in packs, like unrepentant hoodlums looking for a mark. I have always loved my corner of the suburbs, with its mix of canyon trails and shopping malls. But now it feels like I'm living in a war zone. The coyotes are an invading force, and at the moment, they're calling the shots.